They want to know God's will for them in marriage, in education, in career. It's a great opportunity to network with like-minded Christian young women. It's a ministry that uh, aims to equip the young Christian woman in today's society. When I was 19, I joined GERT as a member. And I remember at that age, I needed so much direction in my life. I felt empty, I felt discouraged, I had a Christian faith but I wasn't passionate, I wasn't surrounded by like-minded Christians um, and I just felt God calling me but I didn't know how to answer and Gert was part of that journey to actually saying yes and answering God's call. Um, Gert talks about ministry, talks about career, talks about of course your faith which is paramount, talks about fellowship the Bible, God's Word, everything that you need for a wholesome and fruitful relationship with God. And that's exactly what I've um, encountered at GERT. And I, I'm so sure that anybody else that comes along will have a similar experience. Um, my name is Gloria. I was invited by Georgia. And what I love about the event is that everyone's really welcoming and friendly. Even though I came here not knowing anyone apart from Georgia. I felt very welcomed and the main thing I took about um, took away from the event was allowing God to develop a godly character within you. Hi, my name is Sephora. I was invited by Doreen. Um, in terms of what did I take from this event, I took so much um, in regards to godly character and I didn't realise that we are all influencers. Um, we all are called to influence but it's who we all be influencing for and I believe that Christ needs to be at the centre of our character. It was good to use various people within the Bible such as Esther um, as, as basically as confirmation to why we need to uphold a godly character to open our favour and for us to really be a representation of God's word. So yeah, that's why I got. Hi, I'm Diana um, and I heard about the event online through Eventbrite, contacted Dami who invited me along and today I've been incredibly blessed by the word that's been shared um, and just fellowshipping with other young like-minded ladies who are whose lives are completely about Christ and it's been such a fantastic day. Yeah, I'm Anna, um, I was invited by Diana to come to this event. Um, likewise, I think it's just incredible to be in the midst of young godly women who are doing amazing things. So it's, it's a really great event. I recommend anyone to kind of get involved. Um, they've got loads of great things happening. So yes, get involved. My name's Anne-Marie. Um, I got invited by Georgia, my daughter. Um, and it's been really good to come and just listen to the openness of the next generation. Of, like we sowed the seeds and they're now harvesting our good work. So I just want to really praise God and yeah, it's just totally nice to be so free and just to enjoy each other's company in the spirit of God. Hi, I'm Sapphire Brown. I was invited to the GERT event by Dami, one of the leaders, to lead worship today. It was amazing, honestly. Um, I learned so much. There was such a sense of like freedom. We had like a panel session where we were talking, we were getting real, like really, really real. And um, I was just really inspired and encouraged to stick with my standards, to know that there's a wealth of Christian women in the UK who love God and are real. Um, and sometimes in our faith we can mask religion over things. So. I enjoyed it, I'll be here at the next one and the next one and I really encourage anyone to come over and invite friends because it's just such a blessing just to be in a space where women who love God and are real and just give it to you real and honest, so come along. Hi guys, uh, my name is Orseli, I'm 24 years old, I'm Congolese. Um, I've actually been to this event before, I met Gert last year through Vivian 
Um, it was very random. She just said, oh, I'm doing this. I'm going to this women event. Are you available? And then I just came and I was so shocked to see how many young women were married and have children, two, three. I was so shocked. And I came to this event um, because I missed the other one, the picnic. So I was like, oh, let me make an effort and come to this one. So um, what I learned about this space is a space of young women who are, number one, devoted to Christ. And we want to know more about what God is what God wants us to know in this life of marriage, singleness, and courtship. If you are courting, I'm single myself. So in the church I come from, I find it very hard to speak up about, about these things. Not because I'm young, um, but I think it's because there is not a space for to us to discuss about sexual relationships and marriage and what is really the, the definition of marriage in God's words. And I find that the church I go to, I don't really hear much of that because. If I'm very honest, I see a lot of people just have children and get married, have children, they have children first and they get married, have children first, they're already living together. So it's rare for me to, to meet young women like I met today here who are actually talking about courtship. And I've been talking about this in my church for a long time. And people always tell me, oh, you know, if you love each other already, you know, God can see you guys already in love. So, you know, you can stay with that person. And I think, again, it's a cultural thing where you find that people, um, or some coaching but a lot of people are because they're already seen each other because they're now older and we need to be careful so when you're now you're in your 30s you're in your 40s like you know i'm already mature i already know what i want in man so let's just you know stay together so i see a lot of that so when i'm in this space what i'm trying to say is when i'm in the space i'm seeing young women who are five years older than me um six years older than me ten years older than me who already started that relationship of courtship, courting and understanding singleness and spiritual understanding of what God requires of us whilst being single. And then now you're married, what is God required of you whilst you're being, once you're a married woman? So it's, it's enlightening to see all of this. Um, you know, we spoke about contraception and as an activist, um, I do. I lead uh, what's it called campaigns on HIV and sexual health, so it's good to hear the Christian faith um, side of contraception. And I was really wanted, I really need to hear that these people. So I'm always, um, I think I'm open to hear what God has for me available. And there is a reason why I'm here today. There's a reason why I've joined this group. So God has many blessings for all of us ahead, and I can't wait to see this ministry grow in Jesus' name. Hi, my name is Dami, and my name is Tola. We are our leaders at GERT, so that's Get It Right Time, Get It Right Team, here um, in South East London. So um, I remember when I first uh, started attending GERT and I just was so shocked to see that there was a gathering of young, young Christian women and it was all about Christ and it was heartfelt, it was passionate and it was relatable and I was just shocked to discover that. And so because of that, I kept coming and Sooner or later I, become, I became part of the leadership team and so I would encourage you to come along because groups like this do it, it exist where you can be encouraged in your faith, you can be inspired about your walk with God and you can relate with your sisters in Christ. Um, similar to my sister as well, I have been attending for quite a few years now um, and what I really enjoyed is, you know, the fact of the, you know, that it was like very um, intimate, um, relatable topics, um, you know, it was the opportunity for one to ask questions, feel free, um, I think today's event went very well, um, make new friendships as well, um, it's just able to, it's really nice to be amongst, you know, other young women um, who go through the same challenges um, as well and encouraging one another and trying to do better together. Um, so I really, yeah, really enjoyed it. I think it went well today. So that much. Gert was actually born out of another ministry called Set C for Women. That ministry has been going for well over 10 years and it's run by a, an amazing woman called Pastor Bim. And of course, you can always check out her YouTube channel, Pastor Bim TV, uh, for daily, weekly devotions, um, exhortations, prayer points, you name it. Just go over there and check it out. They are the one that inspired Gert to start um, and their heart for women and marriages was what led 
to GERT, a ministry for young women looking forward to marry. So if you are a young woman between the ages of 19 and 29, then consider this your invitation to join GERT and become a member. There's so much planned for the year and I would hate for you to miss the opportunity to be part of it. You can e email us to inquire further about the upcoming events. We would love to welcome you to the sisterhood. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, Lord you are